In this video, I take a look at the place method and how it can be used to position widgets on a window. We've seen these three program statements before, but we haven't seen this one for a while. And what this will do, it'll set the size of the window created to 300 by 300 pixels. This program statement will create a scale widget where this name is bound to the scale widget that's associated with this window that was created on this line. And you can see we make the orient equal to horizontal. So this statement will give us a horizontal scale widget. This program statement refers to the scale widget we created, but on this line, we've also got the invoking of this method, and the method you can see is called place. Now, we haven't seen this before in the playlist, but what you can see we're doing, we're passing into the place method, x is 50 and y is 20, and they're the x and y coordinates that will be used to position the scale within the window. So let's have a look at the runtime for this computer program. This is the runtime for the computer program. And I'd like to remind you that what I'm pointing to here is the position where X is zero and Y is zero. As you're going in this direction, the coordinate values for X are increasing from zero upwards. If you go from here in this direction, the value coordinates of Y are increasing from zero. You can see here that I made the coordinate position 50, which means if you come from here, you're going from zero in this direction up to 50. If you look here, you can see I made y equal to 20, which means you come from here where y is zero down to position 20. So as you look at this widget, it's been positioned by this coordinate value of x50, y20. I've made an amendment to the program that appeared on the last slide and the amendment is shown here. You can see I've made the coordinate position x equal to 100 and y equal to 200. So let's have a look at what this gives us as the runtime as we can see here. Now x being 100 means I've come from here which is 0 in the x position along in this direction 100. And if we have a look at y equals 200 I've come from here where y equals 0 and I've come 200 down to here and we can therefore see that this coordinate value of 100 200 has placed the widget here. If we look to this computer program, you can see here I've made three scale widgets, each appropriately named, and we can see that we've invoked this to create each of the widgets. They're going to be associated with the window created above, and here you can see I'm making the orient horizontal, which means that these three names here are bound to their own instance of the scale widget, and each of them are horizontal. These three program statements are responsible for placing the widgets on the window using coordinate positions. So you can see I'm referring to each of these scales in turn, and in each case I'm invoking the place method, and you can see here I'm choosing different coordinate positions. So here, for example, you can see x is 50 and y is 20, whereas below here, you can see x is 100 and y is 80. And finally, here you can see that the x is 150 and the y is 140. So if we look at the x's, we can see we're going in the x direction, starting off at position 50. Then we move over for the next widget to be at position 100. And then we move over to see that this one is 150. And here we can see that y is 20, 80, 140, meaning that each of the widgets will be further down the y-axis. So if we now look to the runtime for this computer program, what we will see is this. I've taken the program we saw on the last slide and I've made an amendment. And the amendment is seen here. 
and you can look at the x and the y values yourself let's have a look at the runtime now here is the runtime and look very carefully at the widgets and you can see that they all overlap that's because when i've chosen the coordinate positions here i haven't chosen them in a way that would stop them overlapping as you can see here so bear in mind when you use the place method it is possible to have your widgets overlapping like this which is clearly in this case something you wouldn't want to see please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time i upload a video maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via patreon in addition why not follow me on twitter and also check out the supporting website